New in DraftSite 2017 is the ability to attach a DGN file as an external reference underlay for referencing new or legacy DGN files. DGN is a design file format commonly used in large projects such as buildings, highways, bridges, process plants, and shipbuilding. To attach a DGN file to this drawing, I'll click on the Insert tab and in the Attach panel, select Attach DGN and pick the DGN file I want to attach. As with the DGN import command, there are various options. For simplicity, I'm going to leave the position at 0, 0, 0, the scale at 1, and rotation at 0. I'll click OK to save these settings. You may need to zoom out to see the attached DGN file. Type Z for zoom at the command line and type F for fit. Your drawing will now appear on screen. You can manage the layers in an attached DGN file. To do this, I'll go to the Insert tab, click on the Reference panel, and select Layers. In the drop-down menu, I'll click on DGN Underlay Layer Manager and then select this DGN file. Once selected, the Layers dialog box will appear and I can turn the layers on or off. You can also clip an attached DGN. Clipping allows you to select a portion of the attached DGN file for display. To do this, I'll go to the Insert tab, click on the Reference tab, and select Clip DGN Underlay. Once I select a DGN file, I will have the various options in the command window on, off, delete, or create boundary. For this demo, I will create a boundary. By entering C on the keyboard, I can select the type of boundary I want, polygonal, rectangular, or select polyline. For simplicity, I'll select rectangular. As you can see, my attached DGN file has now been clipped and only displays entities within the rectangular boundary. The ability to use DGN files as references within DraftSite Professional 2017 will allow you to maintain a greater level of compatibility with other design team members. To learn more about DraftSite and how to get a free 30-day trial of DraftSite Professional, Visit draftsite.com slash professional.